sitting here with a tackle box. It's a Plano tackle box. Looks kind of old. Uh, I got this tackle box from my uncle. I was going pike fishing last year. Didn't have much pike gear. So I asked my uncle if he had some stuff that I could borrow. He said, yeah, for sure, bud. I got a tackle box with uh, some lures in it and some things you can take. You can have it all. Awesome. This is what he gave me. He kind of sat around for a little while. I just glanced in it when I got it. A couple spoons in it that I was going to use to, to go pike fishing. So that's what I ended up taking. I left the rest and I kind of shoved it in a closet. So I want to go through everything in the box, show you guys what's inside. And I'll take a deeper look myself. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of stuff in here. I don't even know what it's for. So I'm hoping that you guys can give me a hand with that. Maybe in the comments let me know what some of this stuff is. Let's get into it. Looks like an old tackle box. Some giant hooks. Some massive weights. Okay, this... What in the... That is a weight, if I've ever seen it. This thing's got to weigh a pound, pound and a half. I don't know. Is this a, a drop shot weight for, for salmon fishing? I don't know. Got an old bobber in here. That's a bobber. Quantum spool, a snapshot SST. It's probably a rear drag reel, because that does nothing. So that's kind of interesting. You never know where you're going to need a Quantum SST snapshot spool. It's good to have. Um, bottom bouncer, I think that's what this is called. It doesn't say how much it weighs, but it's probably an ounce or so. That's my guess. Those are useful. Cool. Let's see here. No snag by Lindy. 3 8 ounce. Cool. Those are kind of awesome. Good to have. Weights are always good. Stainless steel thimble kit. A buck ninety-nine. Not sure what this is used for. Maybe you can let me know. Okay. Oh. This looks like a big old spinner bait that has seen better days. No skirt on it. Could definitely put a skirt on it. That'd be nice for, for pike. Big old spinner bait. Definitely fix that up. This looks like a little tool here. Um, I think this is specifically for um, removing the paint that ends up in the eyelets on like smaller jigs and stuff like that. Um, kind of a one purpose type tool, I think. Maybe there's some more uses to that. I'm not sure. This is probably for some sort of trolling. Uh, I imagine just to keep maybe the line straight or the bait straight. I'm not sure exactly. Okay, this is serious. This is a whale fishing rig for sure, bud. It's got like a, a nylon line, what it looks like anyways. And then this big, seems like maybe brass actually. Um, it's almost like the shape of a spoon. I don't know how well you can see that. It's got this big old treble hook on the back. Um, pretty heavy duty, but I'm hoping someone can let me know. I mean, because, you know, why would I ask my uncle? Got a bunch of leaders here. Good to keep around. Wire leaders. That is a definite necessity for Pike. What is this? Cigar box. Panther cigars. You ever had one? Makes a rattle noise. Someone tells me. There's definitely cigars in there. So these look like worm rigs. For those are useful. These all look like there's no rust on them. Real good shape. So definitely still usable. Probably never been used. So definitely keep those in the tackle box. All kinds of spinner baits up here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. This is interesting. Oh, flying lures to catch those flying fish. Okay. Kinda just looks like a tube. Not sure exactly how you'd fish that. Fish it like a tube, but that looks like a little jig head. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call that a jig head. If you've ever heard of these flying lures or know anything more about them, 
maybe you could let me know because it's a unique little package here. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff back in here. I think what I'm going to do is turn this box into my main tackle box. Everything that I own, I'll keep in this box. I'll just take what I need, depending on the trip I'm going on, where I'm going, what I'm fishing for. I like that I'll be able to fit all my tackle in one place, and then I can just take what I need when I need it. Okay. Moving on. Four tray shelf. So, this, I've seen this before, salmon fishing with my uncle. So you chop the head off a small bait fish, and then shove its body down there. I stick a little toothpick right through that hole. That'll keep that bait. And I guess you just fill it with hooks. I'm not sure exactly how you would fish this. Fish it like a tube, but what is this little box here? Old timer. There is a pocket knife in there. That is super sweet. Grab the old timer. And you're going out for a good old time. That's a cool little pocket knife. Good to throw in like uh, a trout bag or something like that. Creek fishing, small rivers. It's not big and bulky, but it's always good to have a knife. Awesome. Get some plastics in here. This is awesome. So, this just looks like a quad tail, curly. These look like leeches, power leech. Probably Berkeley. Oof, oh my, oh that is stinky. <laughs> That'd be awesome for like a drop shot actually. Um, that would work perfectly for a drop shot. That's a sweet little bait there. I think there's four of them here. These are weird. I don't even know. Interesting little grub style baits. Power bait micros. Power grub. These are awesome. They still look like they're juicy. Shall I sniff them? I don't even know if these things are supposed to smell like this. Kind of just smells toxic. Most powerful scent and flavor. For sure, bud. Well, they stink. But uh, those would look great for trout. Tray. Crankbait. No branding or logos on this at all. I don't know if you know what that is or who makes that or if it's awesome. If you know, let me know. Not a bad little crankbait though. Stick that in my box. A little crankbait here. This little guy. But uh, get this translucent color cross side. It's always cute. Fish love that. Okay, these are cool. So this looks like something you'd put a paddle tail or something like that. Or I guess you wouldn't even need that because it's got a bit of a... It's got a lip there, so that would give whatever you've got stuck on there quite a bit of action. But it looks like you just kind of put your treble in the bait right there. I guess you could just have it hanging down, but you're not going to hook up very well like that. And then uh, that little lip there would give whatever lure you have on that thing some pretty good action. Inline spinner. Pretty good shape. A little bit of rust on that flasher there, but cleaner up for sure, bad. Okay, now for this monstrosity. Wait a minute. This is the MEPS walleye killer. Check it out. It says right there, MEPS Walleye Killer. Made in the USA. How about that? Slap a big old juicy earthworm right there on that big old juicy worm hook. Big old weight on it. Some beads, because walleye like bling. Anyways, sweet little, uh, sweet little lure. Okay. idea what you'd use that for. That's a little bit weird. Okay, so here's an airplane coming in for a landing. 
Yeah. If I was to name that, I'd call it an airplane jig. Got some trebles on the wings and big old hook there right at the back of it and all that hair. And, uh, and then a treble right at the end of it. I mean, if anything even looks at that, it's going to get hooked. Real heavy jig there. I'm not sure exactly what you'd use this for. This just looks like, uh, I don't know, like a shaky head type thing. Looks like it would probably sit like that. Put your, uh, your plastic on the end there. Maybe you could use that. <clears throat> These are uh, like walleye uh, worm, worm rigs, spinner rigs. I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but uh, it's for walleye. For sure, bud. This is for pike, not walleye. <laughs> it's it's a Prescott pike hook. You can catch a walleye on that. I don't know. What do I know about fishing? There's another one there. This one's got the hook on it. Some more worm rigs here. I always understood that these things were great for walleye fishing. Double blades. Big old long worm hook on it. That's in good shape too. And that catch some fish. Another airplane. So this thing has some, some wings on it, obviously. Big old eyeballs on it. I assume you'd use that for trolling. It almost looks like maybe you'd use that to snag. Because that hook's on the bottom. Your line ties up top. So you'd be dragging it like this. That hook would be underneath. Um, I wonder if that's like a snagging lure. That's interesting. Um, not sure what you might need to snag, but there it is. Last but not least, the old Rapala floating trick bait. But you've all seen these before. This one's obviously had better. This one's obviously had better days. This uh, internal wire here is now external. Um, that holds all the hooks, so that's no good to use, but uh, cool to have. I'm sure it's caught some fish, and that, that's about it. So like I said, I'm going to uh, leave whatever I, I might use. I, by the way, I apologize if I'm like sweaty and greasy looking. I just, I'm a hot dude. This is, this is what I look like. So I'm really grateful for my uncle to have given this to me. There's a lot of kind of really cool stuff in here. What I'm gonna do now is take this thing apart, um, probably clean it up. So I'm gonna do that. While I do that, you can watch a time lapse or something like that. I'll catch you back when I get this thing all organized. here um, and I have all my spinner baits here as you can see this tackle box has uh, these spinner bait holders um, which are great because I love spinner baits and I have a bunch of them so I'm gonna go through all of my tackle eventually I'll do an entire video on it I'll go through everything if if that's something you guys would like to see uh, so in here I've got a bunch of homemade stuff primarily my top water baits here I've got my um, hard crank baits and jerk baits Uh, next drawer, mostly jigs, rooster tails, that kind of stuff. I love those. Right at the bottom here is where I put all the stuff that was in the tackle box before that I, I would probably use. Um, I've kept in here. That's basically it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, your time is valuable and uh, I know that so I really do appreciate you coming here to watch this video for sure but stay tuned for the next one. Take care. Okay, so I just realized my GoPro is on loop mode. I don't know if it's recording any for more than five minutes. I changed that now. We'll just carry on. I'm probably gonna get my audio from that thing, so that might suck. Oh, this is the things you learn when you're starting on.